Regretting two-week notice. I recently put in my two-week notice at a company I've worked at for the better part of nine years as a digital marketer. The company has treated me well and provided learning opportunities. The work day is consistently 8 to 5. The work-life balance is something I've never had before this job. However the days have gotten a little boring with a lot of bloated process and I feel like I don't even use my degree that much because we're in so many meetings talking about endless things. Recently I got a job offer to work remote for a company out of New York who has a partially remote workforce as well as an in-office workforce. The pay is significantly higher and I can work from home or anywhere for that matter. The work is roughly the same but I anticipate learning something new as another benefit. I even have a contact on the inside who has told me that the work-life balance is great and the culture is great. After accepting the offer and giving my boss a two-week notice the following day, I instantly started to regret it. For the first few days I left work and cried thinking about all of the people I'll no longer interact with. The beautiful office I'll no longer get to go into. My parking space and desk with a view I won't have if I ever come back. Then that sadness subsided some and now I'm worried about the loneliness of working and living alone. I've looked into some co-working spaces but I don't think that's going to give me the same level of interaction an actual workplace would give me. They do have some get-togethers a few times a year where we would all fly in but I think loneliness is my biggest concern with this new job. I'm also starting to feel concerned with the whole idea that output is now more important as a remote worker than presenteeism. I know that sounds bad but I just hope I'm not entering a micromanaging environment. My research says otherwise but it's always fearful to go off into the unknown. Has anyone else made the transition from a full-time office job to a full-time remote job? I think this is worse than new job jitters because I'm also adding the remote aspect as well. I tell myself worst case I'll just try to go back to my old job to be around people again if I can't stand it after six months but there's no guarantee they will have openings and it could be a while maybe even into next year before I could get into something again. Buyer's remorse is a real thing. You are feeling the new job equivalent of buyer's remorse. Remind yourself that if you didn't take the new job, you'd still be at your old job. You know, the one that was not challenging you. The one that was letting your skills stagnate until you probably couldn't easily land another job. Sure, there will be new challenges, but, that's what keeps you fresh. Just remember why you started looking, and know that those reasons wouldn't disappear if you had, in some parallel universe, kept your old job.